This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Well, you beat the ladder leaders earlier in the season. Is this week just about rolling out the blueprint again? <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, look, it was uh, obviously a good win last time, but there's a reason they're on top of the ladder. It's going to be another, another tough challenge for us, and we're looking forward to it there. They're still winning games of footy. They haven't been playing great footy. We're probably in a similar sort of mould at the moment. We've, uh, we haven't been playing as well as what we could have as well. But the reality is we're winning and we're looking forward to another challenge against a team who's, who's been the benchmark of the competition the last couple of years. Was that first quarter the, the, best, the, best, the best quarter you've been a part of at the football club almost? Yeah, I reckon it, it would be right up there. It was, um, yeah, it was fantastic as a defender because the ball wasn't in our area too often. But... Yeah, it was. It probably took a fair few by surprise, but it just goes to show our capabilities. But, I mean, whether it happens this week, I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to... Lightning's not going to strike twice, I wouldn't have thought. They're, they're too good of a team to allow that to happen, so we need to make sure that we're on our game again. And, as I said, we're looking forward to, a challenge, to the challenge against a team who's, who's on top of the ladder and, and travelling really well. Some might say you're going to this game trying to replicate what you did that last time around, but can you not afford to do that because you know that Freo will have caught up? In a uh, sense? Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's going to be very hard to replicate that. Um, there's not too many times that teams have come out and done that against a Ross Lyon coach footy team. So it was a bit of an anomaly, but um, we know that we've, we're capable of beating Fremantle. We've, we've got a reasonable record. We've played some really close games in the past few years. So we expect another tough challenge this week. Um, and, I mean, they're, they're going to be coming out firing. Um, it's, uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for us and one that we, we're, we're looking forward to and, and one that we know we're, that we can, um, we're capable of, t of beating a team who's on top of the ladder. You certainly couldn't afford to have another final quarter fade out like what happened on the weekend. Yeah, look, it was disappointing. We went, and went, we went away from what was working for us in the second and third quarter and we know as a group we'll have a meeting about it today and, and review that, that when we go away from what we're doing well and our fundamentals of our game plan, that it can unravel really quickly. And we saw that, and especially against a young team who when they get their tail up, they've, they've got some quality players in their, in their group. And credit to St Kilda the way they fought it out, but it was disappointing from our, from our side of the bargain. Do you know why? Uh, look, we, we just lost critical contests and our ball movement um, going forward certainly hindered our opportunities and as a result they, they beat us on the way back on the score but I think the first 10 minutes of the, that last quarter they, yeah, we, just, we just couldn't win contested footy and we didn't tackle very well and when you do that at Eddie Hat on a fast deck it can come back in pretty quickly and that's, it, that's how they got those scores. Because uh, you ambushed the Dockers last time, are you expecting them to come out really fired up from the get-go this time around? Oh, look, I mean, Freo will come out like that. Um, whether it was us or any other team, we know that uh, they're a quality side who've, who've been around the mark for a while now, so we expect no less. Um, as I said last time, it was, I think it was a bit of a shock for everyone, but, I mean, we know we are capable of it, but we're expecting a tight contest. What have you made of their forward line um, and the way it's working at the moment and now Ballantyne goes out as well? Yeah, look, I'm not going to complain about Hayden going out. He's a, he's a, although he might come across as a pest, he's a bloody good footballer and um, obviously that's going to help the back line, but we know that they've got some quality guys down there. Sonny Walters, Pav, I mean, um, guys going through there. Fife can go forward as well. So we know we're going to have our hands full this week and it's going to be a huge challenge for our back six. What's the plan for Fife? Um, try and keep him to as less possessions as possible. Hopefully that scan came back with no form. That'll be fantastic for us. <laughs> just on Ballantyne, what sort of a headache does he, does he present to, to, to backmen like yourself? Oh, look, just his pressure. Um, he probably doesn't get a lot of credit for the pressure he does put on. And when, he, when he's up and about, um, he's capable. He, I think he kicked six goals against us last year at the MCG. Um, from, he just makes the most of his opportunities. I don't think he had much of the footy that day, but you don't need to give him much of the footy. So he's definitely a good out for us. And um, yeah, look, I mean, as I said, we're still going to have our hands full. We've still got Pavlich. Main had a good game on the weekend as well. Walter's down there. So it's, it's not going to be any easy task. Acknowledging that you guys play Subiaco really well, how different is it playing a team like Fremantle at home at the MCG? Oh, look, it always poses a, a challenge wherever you play a side like Fremantle. It doesn't matter if you play them away or at home. So we know that even though it's our home ground, it, uh, it's going to be a challenge. Um, is it different, though? Oh, it might be different for them. I mean, Subiaco is a bigger ground, but, I mean, we, we're lucky enough we get to play on the MCG a fair bit. Um, they don't get to play on it too often, so that might come as a bit of an advantage to us. But as I said, it doesn't matter where Freo play. They're, they're a quality side, and they're going to give most opposition teams a headache. 
Is it important to almost treat this game as if it's a bit of a final? I mean, you guys are almost on track for finals. They're the ladder leaders. It could, could be a, sort of a good entree for September. Oh, look, we, we don't try and look too far ahead. I mean, the reality is we've still got to make finals. Um, we're in a good position at the moment. But we still need to win games of footy, and we'll, we'll look no further than Fremantle this week. Um, given they're on top of the ladder, it, you might think it's a big game. I think every game's a big game. Every game's for four points and until the, the season finishes and then you move into finals. But it gives us a good opportunity again um, to see where we're at against a good opposition. Um, as I said earlier, there's, there's a reason why they're sitting on top of the ladder and there's no fluke behind that. They're, they're a bloody good side. And the milestone, what does it mean to you? Yeah, look, I mean, oh, never thought I'd, I'd get to 200. It's, it's taken a while and... I mean, it's something you look back on once your career is finished, but I've been fortunate enough to, to play for two great teams, one um, with a rich history in Adelaide and then um, come over here and play in, in a side that's it's got the Tiger Army behind, it's got a rich history as well, and get to play on the MCG week in, week out. I've, I've been very fortunate in my career to play with some great players in, from both clubs, whether it's Port Adelaide or Richmond. And, yeah, it's, it's humbling and, as I said, something you look back on once the career's finished and, um, yeah, be pretty satisfied. Why didn't you think you might get to 200? Oh, just, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> and the way the game's changed over the past few years, it's, it's got a lot harder. The body's starting to feel it a bit more now. But, I mean, you always, I mean, I was, I was fortunate enough to play with some great players at Port Adelaide, but it was a hard side to get into early days. So, had to work your tail off a little bit. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, it's great to be able to get to the, the number, but it's, it's been a very, very tough journey as well at the same time. It doesn't come easy, but as I said, I've been fortunate enough to play some great players and be involved with some great people along the way, and um, it's, it's made the journey very, very enjoyable. I think Maddie mentioned it uh, before the press, but I think you guys are, are slight favourites uh, at the moment. Does that sort of surprise <laughs> you, considering you're coming up against the ladder leaders and the supposed form team of the competition? Um, oh, look at... Favourites there. Well, against the latter leader, it does does surprise me a little bit. Maybe because we're at the G, that might be the the uh, where the favouritism comes from. But as I said, it's going to be a huge challenge and one we look forward to as well. I mean, as I said, they're the yardstick of the competition at the moment. Them and Hawthorne, and we, we've got them two in the next two weeks. So it's going to be a great two weeks for the footy club to, to see where we're at. Cool. Thanks for that. No worries. Cheers. Thanks.